we're back. Hope you guys are excited about this one. We've got another video from ACGHK. This time, obviously, we're going to be taking a look at the new Hot Toys Artisan Joker lineup as well as the sculpted lineup. So shout out to Pop Collectibles for being there and getting me some photo evidence of what's going on at that event. I'm super excited about this. We've got this one. We just did the Star Wars booth, taking a look at the Artisan Anakin, if you want to check out that video. And then we've got more coming up very soon. But for this particular one, Let's take a look at this Joker. So obviously here on the left, we've got the Artisan Joker. And then on the right, we've got the, I guess we'll call it the regular edition, the sculpted Joker. I'm not sure it's just a regular Joker. Uh, but being many, many years since Hot Toys has actually produced one of these and people clamoring for them, wanting a reissue, wanting a reissue. In fact, I believe not this, was it this year or last? It wasn't this year, but it might've been last year. It might've been 2021. I don't remember, but everybody was talking about the DX whatever, about we were going to get another Joker. And uh, then it never came, never came. And then obviously Inart popped up and said, hey, here you go. Boom, you're looking for this, all roadie style. And, uh, you know, now we have another Joker that Hot Toys says, hey, you know, you know, let's, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. So let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to have plenty of photos to dig through, we'll take close-ups and uh, take a look at some of these sculpts. Um, but going through here, some of these things, and they're not in any particular order. Uh, obviously, we've got a diorama base. Now, I, I do want to point out the obvious contradiction or the comparisons, not say contradictions, but the comparisons between the Inart Joker and then the Hot Toys Joker. One of them has got to, you got to talk about the diorama bases. Uh, the Inart one are far superior in every way. They're huge. They're bulky. They're heavy. Uh, the shipping costs went through the roof because of them. And, uh, you know, there's pros and cons of both. But this right here is the Hot Toys version, and I gotta say, it's it's okay. It does it certainly takes up less room. However, um, it's not painted all that great, honestly. It's just really not these these resinish um, bases that they give us, and then they paint over. It reminds me of, like the recent Spider Man battling version we got, which was that base was kind of crap, honestly. Uh, this one, it just doesn't have that real world feel that the N Art one does now. You know, that that's okay, and you may not care about that. But uh, if you want to compare the two, I think you got to talk about that. Uh, but regardless, I do think this is pretty cool. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room, so I do like that. Uh, so I, I think there's some pros to that for sure. And then obviously we got some money here, which you know it's a joker, so you get that. Uh, but here's our rooted hair version, the artisan version, and uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this guy, and let's just take a look, and this is a shallow depth of field, so we'll have to look at some other ones as well, but you see the paint application going on, we'll kind of get in there, the paint application with the, the face, it looks pretty good, I think they did a fine job with this, moving eyes, we know we're going to get that, and then we go up here, and this is kind of what I wanted to look at with the hairline, that, and this has got to be prototype, right, so I don't I know how the final product's going to end up, but the the hairline uh, here is okay. It's not, uh, I'm not sure how accurate it is as far as uh, Heath. Uh, I think Inart did a better job on that one as well. And um, so, you know, it's not bad, but the rooted hair looks great. It looks like they've got some gel or some styling material in it uh, to give it that kind of wavy wet look. So the question remains is how's it actually going to arrive uh, when it shows up at our doorsteps? And we're going to have to style this thing or not? You know, we'll have to see. The other thing to take note of this thing is there's a lot of hair here. There's a lot. I think there's it, it might have too much hair, honestly. But we'll we'll come back to that. We got the rooted hair, uh, rooted figure here, which honestly, of the two, of if we're looking at Hot Toys only, the rooted one I, might. I'm sorry, the sculpted one might have the uh, might have the dub on this one. You know, I, I don't know. Uh, we got the little Medusa style hair, which is fine for a sculpted hair. It looks just fine. The paint application. Oh, look at the coloration where it goes from like this dark, uh, dirty blonde brown to the green. I think that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure how that's going to play out in the final product, um, but it's, it looks fine. And uh, the previous version, the rooted one is pretty much all green. Uh, but the paint application looks great. The texture looks great. The scar and everything looks great. And you know, we'll take a look at this teeth thing here in a minute. Uh, a joker with teeth. And then obviously we're going to be able to remove the teeth and put in a tongue attachment, which is an innovative thing. It's actually kind of interesting. Um, we got our uh, our jacket here. And I want to take a look at the, uh, the grenades here. It uh, looks like they've done the proper thing, which was each one of these were a little bit different. The paint applications on them looks a little weak. 
Um, now the in art ones, those were actual metal uh, or die cast accessories, and they kind of had a different feel to them, different coloration, and, and you know, they're more premium, I guess, if you will, if you want to go with that respect. Um, but these aren't bad. And there's pros and cons to having die cast weapons, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but the inside of this looks just fine. Looks like it's nicely uh, tailored. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. And then we get a close up look of one of the hands there with the glove on. But let's move on. We got some money. We got some weapons. And this is not, obviously not going to be a die cast weapon. That was an NR thing. The, the Hot Toys ones can be plastic, which is not a bad thing uh, because the NR does have a fault where the magnets in the wrist are not strong enough to actually hold up the heavy die cast machine gun. It's they, they fall out if you you know move it ever so slightly. So there's you know there's pros and cons to having either one. Um, but here we go. Here's an array of hands. We've got our machine gun. We got our solid shotgun. We've got a knife. Uh, we got a, a dagger. We got a pencil. We got uh, a blade. We got, I've got all kinds of stuff here. A lot of stuff going on. I mean, we got the normal gloved purplish hands. And obviously, instead of magnet attachments, we're going to have regular six scale style wrist pegs. So there's that, if you're curious about what's going on with that. And then this is the attachment I was talking about. This is a, one of the strangest attachments we've had in a while. But for those who are curious, the, the head pops off so you can maneuver the eyes around and the teeth actually come out. They're in a little block like this and you just switch them out. Interesting. It's an interesting thing uh, how this uh, how this goes. Now, obviously, Heath Ledger uh, had to lick his prosthetics a lot because they were bothering him, and he just kept uh, they kept drying out. So that was part of the the um, character kind of developed into that out of necessity because the prosthetics were bugging the crap out of him. So now we've got that, which is an interesting way to come up with a uh, an accessory for a six scale figure. I think it's actually pretty creative. At first, I thought it was a magnet. They, they were just like a magnetic tongue that would stick on, kind of like uh, a la Peacemaker. Uh, but this is a definitely a, it seems to be a more creative way to do it and uh, should work out pretty good. So here's our, uh, I'm not sure which version. I'm pretty sure this is the rooted hair version, but here we go with our um, switchblade. Interesting uh, gloves, uh, sculpted hand for that particular accessory. That's actually pretty cool. I, I like that's a pretty cool way to uh, display that. I, I kind of dig that. Creative. All right, here's another look at our sculpted hair joker and then the tailoring on the jacket. Now, the previous versions of this figure uh, from Hot Toys, we want to go way back, which, which is not really a fair comparison, but I do want to say that the previous versions, having multiple layers of shirt and then the vest and then the jacket and then another overcoat jacket, uh, it was a very bulky figure and it didn't look all that great. This one, it looks like they've downscaled the material way better and the tailoring on it looks way better and the, the, it just doesn't look as bulky and poofy and i think that is a much needed improvement over the previous versions and obviously the head sculpt looks pretty good there too so i for whoever is going to get the sculpted version of this um it, it's going to be uh i think you're going to be pleased with that honestly it looks pretty stinking good there's the rooted version i mean either one they, they both look great I'm not sure you could pick a winner over one or the other. I think this really is going to come down to availability. We know the sculpt, the rooted one's going to be stupid expensive just because it's going to be limited. It's going to be hard to get for most people. Whereas the sculpted version is going to be pretty much everywhere and you get it whenever you want. And, and you know, if it doesn't matter to you, save yourself several hundred dollars, get the sculpted version, have a great Joker, and enjoy it. That's what I would say. I mean, look at this thing. It looks pretty stinking good, honestly. It looks, it looks really, really good. So, you know, for those who are considering this, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section, like which one are you leaning towards? Uh, now, I personally have the Inart Rooted Joker 2-pack with the diorama bases and all that kind of stuff. I did a review on that way back when it showed up. Uh, so there is zero reason for me to get either one of these. Um, I think the Inart one for me is a superior in, um, in delivery. I think it's a superior figure. Doesn't mean this one's bad. I just think that an art one's better. Uh, I think the sculpt's better. The hair's better. The the uh, you're going to get two different rooted hair versions, which most people didn't want to anyways. But you get the um, nice diorama pieces. You get I, I, it's just for me, it's a superior figure. Again, not to take away from this one. Uh, I think Hot Toys did a damn fine job on this one. So let me know your thoughts. Are you going to be picking up the 
sculpted one and save yourself a whole bunch of money and be happy with that? Or are you going to chase that rooted version and try to uh, see how much money you can possibly spend on that one figure? It's going to be a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Sure. This, both of them look really good, but here's back to back. So there's the rooted version or back up to the sculpted version. To me, they're similar angles, honestly. And this for hot toys, the sculpted one may take the dub on this one. It may, I mean, it, it may take the dub. It looks pretty stinking good. It doesn't, doesn't have that, uh, me, I don't know. I'm on the feds, guys. Let me know. I'm walking through this just the same as you guys. Uh, but as we go through this, I'm going to back up. Back to the beginning photo because I want to see these both side by side. There we go. Um, you know, do you have a clear winner for you guys? Is it going to be the rooted here? Is going to be sculpted? Or are you not getting either one? Are you tired of all the flipping jokers and you wish they'd go make something else? That's probably where I'm at right now. I'm like, just go, just go make something else. Uh, let's not make another Joker 4.0. Now, I would love to see the packaging material they're going to use for this. Is it going to be, you know, a DX style or, the, or if this is their artisan line, they're going to step it up a little bit. How's the presentation going to be? I'm curious about that. I really, I really want to see what that's going to look like. And it might be a while before we get to see it. But let me know. If you want either one of these, I'm pretty sure you can get either one of them for Pop Collectibles. They might have sold out of the rooted one already. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a link in the description below. Don't forget to check out this Star Wars preview video and come back. I've got another preview video from ACGHK of some other odds and ends. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. And as always, click what you like. See you next time.